Hello, it's Linda here at Papercraft with Crafty. Um, today I've got this project for you, which is a business card holder. Okay, I've done this in two different formats. I've done something quite formal here, where I have used some foiling to and just designed like this um, little panel to go on the front of my business um, card holder. So I don't know if you can see, I've actually foiled. All of these details here using my Heidi Schwab mink and I just simply finished this one off with a pretty little flower detail here so this one is more generic um, it's just I think quite fun actually um, I think if you've got these out on your um, on your craft tables at craft fairs um, to have something like hello on the front is quite nice and welcoming and um, hopefully might encourage people to come along and pick up one of your business cards. Okay, so talking of business cards, this is mine. Um, this is one of my designs. I've done a, a YouTube tutorial for this card. Um, and then on the back, we have these details. So I am an independent stamping up demonstrator and I come from um, Hampshire, Southampton. So if you're in the Southampton area and you fancy booking a workshop, please get in touch, give me a call. Um, if you fancy hosting a party with your friends, I'm very happy to come along. Um, and if you want to join my team, well, I'd gladly have you and visit my online workshop, um, my online shop um, today, and you'll be able to find all of the products that I have used to make this sweet little business card holder. Now, I've got the inspiration for this from my mentor, um, and team leader Sam at Poodle's Paper Craft. She made something very similar and I loved her design. Um, and I've taken it and I've adapted this design. Um, I've done a reinforced version. Um, so this box is like really, really very, very sturdy because um, it's double sided really, it's reinforced. Um, so I've also just changed um, the design. Sam had a nice high back on hers, but I wanted something quite flush. So I've taken her design and her initial idea and I've adapted it to suit my, my own needs. So I'm gonna talk you through how you can create this reinforced business card holder. I do hope you enjoy today's tutorial. Um, I'm going to make one up and decorate it using um, papers from our um, 12 by 12 designer series paper stacks. Um, and I'm also just going to foil a panel for another of the um, little business card holders. Um, just quickly talk you how I actually did this one for this particular um, business card holder. Okie dokie, so I'll put those to one side. Now today I'm working with this beautiful cardstock which is a beautiful shade of blue. It's called Tempting Turquoise. Um, I'm going to be decorating it using coordinating paper. Now this comes, this comes from the 12 by 12 designer series paper stack of um, papers in the Brights collection. So you will find um, Tempting Turquoise, Melon Mambo, which I've used there, um, and also Bermuda Bay. Um, in that paper stack and you'll find lots of like double-sided patterns like this. Okay, so I'll just put that to one side now and talk you through the scoring that you need to make on this piece of cardstock, which measures five inches by 10 and three quarters. Now on the long side of your paper here, or your card, you're going to score at one and three quarters And then you're going to score at three and a half. Then you're going to score at four and a quarter. At six and a half. At seven and a quarter. And at nine. Okay. And then turning the cardstock round on the short side, you're going to score at three quarters of an inch and at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so that is all of the scoring done. Okay, so now we're just ready to do some burnishing. So I'm gonna flip my card over. 
So I'm flipping my card over. So I've scored on this side. So what I'm going to do is fold in like this. And then I'm going to do like the mountain valley folds. Like that. That side. I'm going to do the same this side. So I'm going to fold my card this way. And then I'm going to fold it that way. And then back out this way. So your folds should look like that. Um, anyway, so now we're ready to do some cutting. Okay. So I'm taking my scissors. Oh, actually, I didn't... I didn't burnish these lines. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not concentrating very well, am I? So, having scored or burnished all of my score lines, I'm now ready to do some cutting. So what you're going to do is you're going to lose this panel here, this little rectangle. And this one this side. And then you're going to snip here at this point and on the opposite side at that point like that and you can do the same the other end so we're losing this rectangle and this one okay and then snip here and here okay then I'm just going to tuck this in and tuck this in and I'm simply going to cut cut away that bit there and do the same on the other side so tuck this in tuck that in and then we're just going to lose this these three little panels here Okay, so that's done, and now we're ready to start sticking our box together. Okay, and so for this, as it's reinforced, um, I do recommend using um, a really good strong adhesive double-sided um, tape really works best. You can use wet glue, um, but I'm going to be using my trusty old double-sided, and a lot of people ask me, what is this tape that I use? So I, I'm going to share with you here. It's sticks to, um, and it's really, really great. It's really strong for um, box projects that you know you really do want to adhere strongly. You don't want them being flimsy and falling apart. So it sticks to. I buy mine at Hobbycraft, so. and I think it's very popular because. <laughs> I tend to go in there and find out that they're very often out of stock. Um, so when I go in there, I probably pick up about three or four at a time. Okay, so if you can see where I'm sticking this now, I've stuck it here, and then along this edge here on this panel, and I'm going to do the same the other side. So I'm going to stick it here. and along this panel here on this side of that score line <clears throat> okay so we've done that now I'm just going to peel this one off and fold it in and peel this one off and fold this one across okay so you've now got that and then I'm just going to peel this one and repeat the process. So you can see it's a really, really nice, easy project. There's nothing complicated about this at all. But once you get to this point, you're going to be able to feel just how sturdy this project is now. Okay, so I'm going to work out which is the front of my box. I'm going to fold these two in here. Okay, and so that means I'm going to stick double-sided tape down these panels here. <clears throat> Okay, 
So this is now going to come across. Line this up nice and square. Stick that firmly. And again, line it up nice and squarely and stick that firmly. Okay, and you can see it's a really nice sturdy little box now. Um, and it's just ready for me to decorate. So to decorate it, I've already gone ahead and cut out some bits and pieces here. Um, for the ovals, I used my layering ovals and I took a little sandwich of them, a little, um, took three of them, around small ones really, like that. And there's lots more in the pack. I just took these out quickly ready to show you, but to give you some idea of the amount of dyes you get in there. It's a pretty good collection of dyes as you can see. So like I said, I picked three of the smaller ones and I took um, a piece of Whisper White and I used the larger of the scalloped um, dies to do that one. Then I ran the next one through in blue and then the smallest one, obviously I used that one on Whisper White cardstock and as you can see I've already, oops, everything's falling apart. Uh, I've already gone ahead, I've stamped up the sentiment on this and like I said I think, I think Hello is quite a nice one to have on a business card holder. Now I took the Hello for this from this set here which is called Endless Birthday Wishes and like all stamping up um, papers and card you get coordinating inks as well so I've used Tempting Turquoise and I have stamped up the little sentiment here. So I'm going to just layer those up quickly. Okay, so I'm going to use my wet glue for this, my Tombow. So I'm just going to get some on the back here. Oh, it's rather a lot. Came out a bit quicker than I thought. So just going to pop that there in the centre of that layer. And then pop some on here. And you can see these ovals do layer up beautifully. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side. And I'm just going to get these two little panels stuck on the card. Now, you can decorate the front and the back if you wish, but I'm just doing the front for this, um, this tutorial. So, this little white layer is one and a half inches by three and a quarter. And it's Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to take that and lay that down centrally on that panel. Okay, and then I cut myself out a piece of this lovely designer series paper. And this little layer here measures three by one and a quarter inches. I'm just going to pop that on here like so, and my hand won't stop shaking. Anybody who think I was nervous? So, doing that like that. And like I said, you know, if you want to stick one on the back, then do. I'm just going to shift that a little. That's the beauty of working with this wet glue. You do get a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm just going to finish this one up by um, taking a couple of dimensionals and popping them on the back here of my topper. And then I'm going to place that in the middle. Okay, so that was nice and simple, but I just think it's really, really attractive. So we've got two like that. Okay, so like I said, I'm into foiling at the moment and experimenting with all different kinds of um, crafting medium. Um, so, taking um, a few bits here, um, I set my computer up and I found myself a nice font um, and I simply um, 
I set it up so that I was working on postcard sized um, documents. So I put my name, Linda Parker, and I've just put a few details here. Um, and I took that and I um, sent it to print on my laser printer. So it's come out like that. Okay. So it's now ready for me to foil. So I'm using this gold foil here, Gold Reactive Foil by Heidi Schwab, designed for the mink. And I've already got my carrier sheet here, a little bit of um, paper or fo foiled paper ready to take this little design. Okay, and I'm just going to take that now and I'm going to run it through my mink and I'm going to be setting the mink on the number three setting. So just need to let that heat up and when it flashes green I'm ready to run this through. Okay, so it's flashing green and I'm just going to feed this through. Okay, so finished with that now. Oops, I'm <laughs> ready for the reveal. Okay, I'm just going to peel off my foil. There you can see it's uh, foiled that really rather beautifully. So what I'm now going to do is just cut this down to size and I want this little panel here to measure one and a quarter by three inches. And then what I'm going to do is layer it up on this piece of gold foil card um, and this is piece here measures one and a half by three and a quarter inches. Okay so I went ahead and I've cut this down. This, this piece here measures one and a quarter by three inches. Okay and that's going onto this panel which is one and a half by three and a quarter inches. Try and get it on there nice and centrally, like so. And then I've made up this little box here. This is in beautiful Island Indigo cardstock, and I just thought that that would complement the gold foil really nicely. So I'm just going to take my trusty oh, no, I'm not. I'm just going to remove this double sided tape. And then place this carefully, if I can stop my hand shaking, <laughs> on this little panel here, like so. So that's it. So we've got here a nice, generic, beautifully decorated business card holders. And then we've got something not quite so generic. We've got this um, foiled and more formal looking um, business card holder and what I am just going to simply do now is punch out a little flower using um, this punch here, a blossom punch. Okay and I'm just going to punch out two of the smallest flowers, two of the smallest flower, sorry. So you just want two of those. Pop a little bit of glue there, and then I'm just going to lay my flower like that. And then I have here some white perfect accents. Um, these are lovely little um, decorative. Um, dots and I do like to use them for the middle of 
my flowers. So I'm just going to take that one, pop it on there. It's gone a bit askew. Okay, so I just tidied that up a bit. I'm just going to take some glue. I could use glue dots, but I haven't brought any down with me. I'm doing this in my dining room because the light's a bit better than in my craft room right this moment. I'm just going to take that now and pop it there, like so. So there you go. We've got some formal business card holders and not so formal. But one thing they all have in common is that they are proper good and sturdy. Okay, so anyway, I um, do hope you enjoyed today's tutorial um, and I will be back with another one for you very shortly. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.